Alrighty, welcome back everybody. Hope you're all doing well and staying safe. We are back out here again. The Umarex Notos ATN X Site 4K Pro 5 to 20 and the Wicked Lights IR. This is a Gen 4. I don't think I've mentioned that in the past. Once again, we're shooting the old JSP 1813s. These babies did some fine work for me last night. I still can't believe I shot a yote with this thing. And he went right to sleep. I mean, it was game over. But definitely was the right decision. He needed to be put down. No eating critters in my yard. Anyways, there was something bouncing around at 20. But I think it's a shrew because I didn't see him. So I'm just going to let that be for a while. If it keeps going off, I'll check again. But we're going to focus downrange. See if we can get ourselves a mouse tonight. I wouldn't mind getting three more to tie last year's numbers. So let's see what we can do. Quite a bit cooler tonight. It's down in the low 50s, 51, 52 degrees. I shouldn't see a single mosquito. So pretty happy about that. See if we can get lucky. There's just a mouse out there. Light wind to the left last night. Took a shot at oh. I'm pretty sure that hit the corner of the cement block. So maybe a little bit too much hold for wind and it's shooting a little bit more than six and a half. Yeah, that was right over his head. So, hey, he's not coming back for a little while. I scared him pretty good. Those are two very close misses. I think the first one was a little bit short and I hit the very corner of the cement block. Maybe. And the uh, second one was a little high. looked good but I saw the dirt kick up behind him and he ran away so he's fully scared now also 20 yard pile went off twice just saw the shrew there there might be a mouse coming in there Mag change.
seems pretty good size. A few moments later Hit him. Not great though, maybe. I'm gonna watch for 10 more seconds. Then we'll go looking for him. I think I still see him laying there. Didn't sound super good though, so I don't know where we hit him, but. I'll bring the no toes just in case. 94 yards, we just tagged the mouse. Let's go get him. Well, we missed a couple shots, but we did connect. Oh, wow. Uh, it's a pretty graphic scene in there. Let's peel him out. Let's see what we got him. All right, yeah. Oh, it's a headshot though, it looks like. Yep, we got him in the head, but he's still kind of kicking, so we're gonna put him down. Crappy camera work, I know. Okay, more crappy camera work. I'll edit some of that shitty camera work out of there. Uh, yeah, well, whatever, he's dead. So, any twitching coming out of him now is absolutely nerves. But, we hit him right in the head with the first one. We hit him right in the head with the first one. I don't know exactly where, but it was enough to, uh, Put him down. I mean, he lost a lot of blood in there. So, yeah, that's a pretty good size vol right there. 94 yards of the Umarex no toast, man. Still delivering. Let's, uh, let's go add him to the pile. Several days later. Good friggin' evening, everybody. Hell yeah, I got a package in the mail today. If you haven't already seen that video, I got a few fantastic items from Angel over at Redcorn Outdoors. Very much worth checking his stuff out. Fan fantastic dude. First off tonight, we're running the uh, model ATN X Lite 4K Pro, five to 20, Wicked Lights IR Gen 4, Umarex Notos, with the Red Corn Outdoors, Red, White, and Blue 10 shot mag, and the Red Corn Outdoors Honeycomb Grip. Very nice. We've also got some other Red Corn Outdoors stuff on here. This front grip adapter is his, as well as the Nomad moderator on the end, so. Buck rail, uh, grip adapter here, and just a cheap AR buffer tube. It's been a few nights. Uh, it rained on me last night and I didn't get out. And I think the night before it was too warm. So there are a few mosquitoes flying around. It is in the fifties though. So I anticipate them babies to go away. Let's see if we can get us a mouse tonight. I was fortunate enough to get one the other night and then that was the end of the night. I was done pooped after that. So let's see if we can follow up and get another one.
not to know if they're now. IRs, it's probably about time for me to change it, but we'll use it for tonight. We'll see how, how it works out for a few. Could be a little brighter, but not terrible. All right, if anything comes in, I'll bring it back. to grab a little bit of seed. And the IRs get pretty dim. Super dim. I'm gonna go swap it out. It's only take a second. should be coming back any second now. With any luck, we can get them real quick. patiently for him. See if he shows up. I'll bring him back if he does. I think I hit him, but I'm not sure. And if so, not very well. Wrong button. Let's go take a look. Alrighty. Just got back from looking at him. Uh, looking for him, I should say. And didn't didn't find him, so I rewatched the video. And it looks like I shot right beneath and probably hit the cement block. You can kind of see the... Uh, bird seed and a big big plume and then he jumps straight up so might have nicked him but he's probably okay hopefully not too scared and hopefully he comes back but uh we got a good clean miss on that one sadly well we'll keep our eyes peeled i'll bring you back if we see anything Okay, it was a good clean mess. He's scared, but he's coming back. He's coming back. I'll bring it back when he does. <laughs> I held one and a half because, you know, one wasn't enough. A fucker went clean over his head. He didn't even react, though. He's coming back. I mean, when I 
can't stay clean over his head. I probably shaved some furs, but it was it was, it was right over his head. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wait for him. He's coming back. He only grabbed one seed. And the shot didn't scare him that much. It was more the impact of the pellet, maybe, so. <laughs> A comedy of errors. This guy is fucking insane. Again, he didn't flinch. He didn't flinch. That one was too high as well. Maybe a little bit too much to the left. The wind isn't blowing, so it was either me or... <laughs> because of the black silhouette, though, you can see the pellet go right over his head. Third time's the charm. Fourth time, fifth time, whatever. <laughs> I'm losing count here. There we go, this is the one. He's gonna come back, brazen as ever. Watching for movement. That looks pretty clean, though. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go take a look. That one sounded good. It looked pretty clean. There wasn't a whole lot of movement. Let's hope he's out. Not a big guy. He is absolutely out though. Nice long tail on him. Looks like we caught him right there. The front shoulder meat. Probably came out the back somewhere. Maybe. Yeah. Either way. Absolutely just shot a 50 yard mouse. Pretty good size. Nice, nice, nice size tail on him at least. On further inspection, we absolutely caught him in the front shoulder there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it to focus. And it came out in the back end here. So, dropped him. Clean through. Front shoulder. The back quarter. He didn't feel a thing. Two for this adventure so far. I am not complaining about that. That three. Pretty sure I smacked him in the eyeball. That one was at 60. It was one at 83. I'm torn. Do I go down there and collect the one that I just shot and potentially disturb the one at 83? Or do I wait it out? I mean, he ain't going nowhere. Wasn't Quite in focus, but not bad, honestly. I think I'm gonna wait out the one at 83 and we'll see what happens. So I'll bring you back if something comes in and then we'll go down and collect that one at 60. Hell yeah.
matrix me. All right, let's uh, let's go collect that one at 60. I'm curious to see where we hit them. Honestly, it looked like a pretty good shot. I think he was facing me, so. Hope he's just laying here. Well, there he is. Holy shit, look at that tail. Let's see where we go. Oh, seed in his mouth still. Focus. See that seed in the mouth? That's usually a good indication. Looks like we caught him right there. Thought it was a headshot, but it looks like it might have come in a little low. But it absolutely, look at that, two seeds in his mouth. It's an overachiever. What a guy. Well, got a little too greedy. Look at that tail. It's a gigantic tail. Hell yeah, man. 60 yard mouse, I'll take it. Alrighty, that makes uh, three mice for this adventure. Also ties us up with last year's numbers of 26. We'll sit a while longer and uh, see if maybe we can get one more tonight. This thing is looking fucking sweet. Okay, well. Two mice for the night, three for this adventure. Sit a little bit. Just in case, you never know. I mean, there's still mice coming in out there. I don't know if we'll get them. Uh, I don't know how many rounds left are in here. I don't know how many rounds are left in here. Mag change. Last one. Last one. This 10 round mag is pretty fucking sweet. And I know that they got, uh, People have had uh, Maple Custom Products mags for a while now, and those look just as awesome. I absolutely thought about getting one, but as long as my seven round factory mags were still operating properly, I wasn't gonna worry about buying something that wasn't really needed, eh? So this is a welcomed gift. I am incredibly proud of it, so. Huh. An extra three rounds makes a big difference. I would have had to reload at least once by now. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get something. Dogs outside. Using the bathroom somewhere. She's safe. Safe for now. I hit him, but not well. Let's go take a look. Might have to put an extra one in them. Alrighty, I looked around. Did not see him or hear him. Didn't get a chance to rewatch the footage yet, but. Hopefully I just missed them or lightly grazed them because I hate wounding them, hey? But. We almost got him. Probably going to be a while before I see anything now that I just went down there and stirred everything up. But there's still absolutely a few mice bouncing around. So I'll sit out a little bit longer. And if I see anything, bring it back. We'll see if we can get one more. Stay tuned. Okay, I saw where that one hit. I was aiming five. And I hit a little over five. 
mean, I've fully scared him away now. I'm sure he's... I think we hit him. Okay, well, I missed him a bunch of times. I can see his eyeball there, so he must be laying there. Let's go make sure he's dead. Shot looked good. Oh, he's wounded. Give me a second. Okay. He is thoroughly dispatched. Uh, Tag them in the eye. I got to see a little bit before I finished him off. And it looks like it came down, like he had his, he was facing away from me and it hit him on the top of the head. It cleanly removed one eye, but he was still very much, uh, still very much kicking. So we don't uh, injure him, we try to kill him. The second shot though, definitely did the trick. Not, not too bad, not too bad. Three for this adventure. Hell yeah, man. 83 yard mouse with the no toes. Some newly adapted red corn outdoors gear on it. I'm pretty happy with that. Alrighty. It's only been an hour, hour and 15, hour and a half maybe. We are absolutely delivering some hurt to these mice tonight so Let's sit out a little longer i was going to shut her down earlier but it was quiet it's picked up a little bit i'll sit out a little longer we'll see if anything else comes in oh flying squirrel buddy i think that's what i saw yeah oh yeah he's friggin large and in charge The size of his eyeballs, man. He's just huge. Yeah, we'll watch for a little while longer. If anything else comes in, take a shot at him. If not, this will be it. I'll bring you back if something comes in. Okay. I think there was two of them down there at the 60 yard pile. I'm not sure. That one either just doubled back and I didn't see him or there was a second one. I don't know if I should leave him lay there and let the other one come out. He's not gonna be happy if he sees body laying there though. Uh, if I see his eye, I'm just going to shoot for him. I don't know where he is, but he just ran over to his buddy, checked him out, and ran away. Okay, let's just go down there and collect the other one. He doesn't need to see that. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Alrighty. 
sure where the second one took off to, but this guy here blew him off the cement block. Almost three feet, probably. They're off the wood block. I think we caught him right there. The chest meat. Oh, I hear his buddy chirping over there. All right, well, let's uh, bring him back and maybe we'll get the other one too. Not get too greedy. That is not a bad night. There's the one from the other night. Bugs are taking him away. Yeah, just like that. Alrighty. Four mice tonight. Five for this adventure. Man, I cannot shake a stick at that. Red Corn Outdoors. Angel, thank you very much. Check out his gear if you guys are interested in looking for stuff for your notos or other guns, I'm sure. I know he's got a few other different things that he sells. But, uh, man, this 10-shot mag really came in handy tonight. Only had to reload it one time, and it was at a good time for it. It wasn't when I needed. It wasn't under a needed-to-do basis. This pistol grip, I love it. I love it. I think it feels good. It's got some texture on the sides too, so it's not just vertical, but you know, it feels really good in the hand. I cannot say enough, man. Thank you very much. Tonight we were shooting the JSB 1813s. I didn't mention that earlier, but uh, they performed super well for us tonight, so I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks everybody for watching. Stay in tuned. On to the next adventure. Camera's on fire. <laughs>